Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by. Today I'm going to show you how I make this super cheap but tasty French toast. All right, to get started in a bowl, I have, or you should have, three eggs. This is four tablespoons of sugar. You could use white, you could use brown, Splenda, you could substitute for honey. This is one fourth cup of what should be milk. And also there is one eighth teaspoon of salt in this mixture as well. Now, I know that I don't actually have three eggs here and I know that for those of you who know that that is obviously not milk, that is buttermilk. I've never used it before, but when I started making this French toast, I really ran into a lot of problems, but I decided to push through. And now I'm just gonna mix all of this together until there are no stringy bits bits that stick to my whisk. I want it to be free flowing like this. Oh, you see that wedding ring? I break it by the end of the video. <laughs> it's a mineral ring, not a solid metal though. So. All right, now I've just transferred my egg mixture into a more flat pan. And I have, well, one of the cheapest loaves of bread that I could find at my grocery store. Because remember, this is cheap could use any bread this method will work for any kind of bread it doesn't matter leftover bread bakery bread it does not matter and now I'm just gonna butter my griddle that I have on a medium-high heat right here uh, I'm gonna butter it with about one tablespoon of butter and after I get it buttered up I'm just going to very quickly toss the bread into the egg mixture just one side, flip it right over, and then right onto the grill. And like I said, I had quite a few things go wrong for me today. Um, my egg yolk, I lost it in a mysterious egg yolk losing incident. Hopefully that does not happen to you. And I broke my nail and I had to have a dental surgery. And I mean, the list goes on and on. I can't even believe I was able to make this video, but I just wanted to do it because that's how easy it is to make this. You could do it even if you're completely messed up like me. <laughs> okay, so now after about a minute to two minutes on the griddle, I'm gonna go ahead and start flipping over my French toasts. And you could probably see the ones I have on the very end there, just, just short of enough egg mixture, which of course they were still tasty, but if you don't lose your egg yolk in a mysterious egg yolk losing incident like I did, you will not have that problem. All right, so now after I've given them a flip, I like to go around the griddle. And of course you could also use a pan for this if I hadn't already said that. And I like to just add a little extra butter to the exposed parts of the griddle so that I can get a little extra on. And then I move the French toast around just so that I can make sure that that butter gets on the bottom because I want flavor on both sides. And this whole process took probably between two and four minutes. Basically, you want your French toast to not have any, I guess, what would be called like noticeably wet spots or slimy spots, and nothing should be too soft. Now, right here, I'm just giving it an extra flip just to make double sure that it has the kind of color that I want. And there you go, guys. And <laughs> that's it. And now I'm going to plate it up here. You can go ahead and use any kind of syrup you like. Uh, right here, I'm about to burn myself with this bacon as I put it onto the plate. And then, even better, one of my eggs holds for me, and so I'm not able to use it. So, I don't know what was happening this day. I broke my nail, broke my wedding ring, I was in pain, I had a cold, I, my milk was spoiled, I lost my egg yolk, I burned my hand. <laughs> I have no clue what was going on. But even through all of that, I was still able to put this on a plate and it was still really tasty I enjoyed it this is for people who are on a budget or people who just want to take lower quality ingredients and elevate them which is something that I'm very passionate about because anybody can make the best food with the best ingredients but you gotta ask yourself what can you make with lesser ingredients or lower quality ingredients there you go guys that's it i'm just using some leftover cracker barrel syrup that i had from a dinner out and that's it <laughs> sometimes i make my own syrup look out for that video in the future and the 
that's it guys <laughs> beautiful breakfast on the cheap i super tasty i hope you enjoy it don't forget to like comment share subscribe because it helps me out so much everyone and don't forget to come back to my kitchen anytime